The glitz and glamour associated with Nollywood is really just a facade. It is not real and most actors and actresses live a lie on social media, especially the actresses, who are all in competition with each other and would go to the extreme just to be seen as successful. The story of Halima Abubakar should serve as a cautionary tale for younger and impressionable actresses coming to Nollywood. Halima was born on the 12th of June 1985 in the northern part of Nigeria of Kano State. She joined the Nollywood industry in 2000 and won and featured in her first movie titled Rejected. She played a minor role in the movie, but that role catapulted her into her first lead role in the movie Gangster Paradise, which made her famous and a great contender in Nollywood. Halima went on to feature in more than 100 movies including Secret Shadows, Men in Love, Love Castle, Tears of a Child, and Slip of Fate. For her incredible talent and dedication to her craft, Halima has won several awards including Afro Hollywood Best Actress Award, Actors Guild Icons Award, Global Leadership Award, Best Actress Award at the Eminent Awards, Best Actress Award at City People Entertainment Awards. The actress is the youth ambassador of Kogi State. She owns Morehouse Entertainment record label and talent management firm. In March 2018, it was reported that she was in coma for three days following complications from her fabroid surgery the previous year. She posted on social media, OK, I have good news. God really showed out. I'm a woman after God's heart. Today, mark a year of my distress and a month ago, was in coma for three days, thought I was gone. But just a month ago, my family was in deep shock, so I hope you don't joke about your health care. And don't laugh at people cause they wish you nothing but greatness. God is amazing. Look at me all stunning and happy. My docs rock. Hopefully it won't be tagged pity party. I don't need your pity. My testimony. In 2020, Halima announced the birth of her son and posted a picture of a baby holding onto a finger with the caption, a gift from God and I will cherish you for life. Soon after she posted the picture, an American mother Ariel called her out for stealing her baby's picture and shared photos of her baby on Instagram, one of which was identical to the photo Halima used in announcing the arrival of her baby. The woman also shared her chat with Halima, asking the actress to take down the photo. Halima explained that her baby was in the incubator and she needed a picture to post. So she did a Google search and saw an adorable picture and decided to use it. Nigerians did not buy her explanation and went hard on Halima. Voicing their disapproval, even a fellow actress joined in. Months later, the actress finally showed the face of her baby. Recent information released by Just Lover indicates that Halima had been lying since 2017. According to the blogger, when Halima claimed she went to India for myomectomy, it was a lie and she was never pregnant and never gave birth and doesn't have a biological child. Which begs the question, whose child did the actress flaunt on social media. According to Gist Lover, Halima met Apostle Johnson Suleiman through a friend in early 2000 when she came to Limelight, and the pair began a sexual relationship. Halima felt she has found her main sugar daddy who would sponsor her lifestyle. Suleiman bought her a house, two cars and sponsored her on expensive and exotic holidays around the world. In return, Halima celebrated the Apostle whenever the opportunity arose. Halima was the envy of her colleagues and friends. When asked about her relationship with the Apostle, Halima lied that Suleiman was her uncle until the truth was uncovered and they tried snatching him from her.
Halima was among the first set of girlfriends from Nollywood Suleiman had back then, before Ruth, Iyabar, Daniela, and the others. Seeing that Suleiman was getting attention from other actresses, Halima decided to secure her position by getting pregnant. Suleiman went crazy and told her to terminate the pregnancy. That getting pregnant when she did has destroyed things for him spiritually. That no one must get pregnant for him at that time. Halima pleaded but to no avail. Halima refused to terminate the pregnancy. Before long, she started bleeding and suffered a miscarriage. However, the bleeding did not stop. Halima then fell seriously ill and bled heavily for six months non-stop. According to sources, Halima encounters Suleiman in her dream regularly where they engage in sex. Everywhere Halima goes for spiritual help for her illness keeps pointing to Suleiman as the cause of her illness. Suleiman stopped picking her calls, Halima emaciated, and severe rash started appearing on her body. This is me. So, all I need to do when I want to make a video, I wear makeup. And, uh, <laughs> you can see my hair. This is. You can call if you want to see me properly. Halima suffered a lot because of her entanglement with Suleiman. Her womb got damaged from the six months bleeding. Suleiman has been accused of sending a close friend of Halima to steal one of the clothes she wore while bleeding. The lady was caught and the situation got messy really fast. When Halima came out in 2019 flaunting a baby bump, it was actually her stomach swelling. According to her, she woke up one morning and started feeling pains in her tummy, and then the stomach started protruding. It grew so big that people thought she was pregnant. So she went along with it and posted pictures on social media claiming it was a baby bump. She was taken to different hospitals both in Nigeria and India and did test for faboid but nothing was seen. After a while the tummy busted and a lot of things started coming out of the tummy. Just give me a little time, I'll come out, I'll write back, I'm just, I can't type, but I'll write. Then the tummy started reducing. It was at that stage she announced to the world that she gave birth and had to pay for a baby. So people won't question her. A few months after she claimed she had given birth, the stomach started swelling again but reduced after some months. The swelling stomach has been happening on and off for the past five years. At the start of her health issues, Suleiman stopped giving her money and cut all contacts with her. A US-based medical doctor, Innocent has reacted to the voodoo implications of the Halima story, stating that Halima is suffering from autoimmune disease which could have been triggered by her pregnancy. Since her condition began when she got pregnant, however, it should be noted that this doctor has never treated Halima and hasn't gone through her medical report. The doctor writes, a lot of women acquire autoimmune diseases during pregnancy. This is sometimes triggered by the baby's antibodies. That is why there is pregnancy-induced diabetes, pregnancy-induced anemia, and pregnancy-induced high BP. These acquired diseases sometimes makes a pregnancy high risk and some end up not carrying to term or miscarrying. She further explained that there is no cure for autoimmune diseases because it's your own immune system literally fighting and damaging your cells. People living with them just manage the symptoms which are reoccurring body sores blisters, joint pain, bloating, bleeding etc. She added, once it is a reoccurring symptom, a lot of Nigerians stop accepting diagnosis and it becomes a spiritual something. Suddenly, village people and ex-boyfriends are the culprit. Halima have been responding to the disclosure through cryptic messages through her Instagram story. She claimed that there would be a disaster if she opened her mouth to confirm the rumors. She wrote, if I start to talk, Nigeria will close. Halima also had several confrontations with her colleagues who took sides with the apostle. She also went off on someone who sent her a private message about her death. Halima wasted no time in firing back at the person whose identity she hid. The actress who is not perturbed made the person know that she doesn't care about her prophecy. Unfortunately, 
Palamas' story is not a phenomenon. Thespians the world over have different challenges. Whether or not Halima's illness is as a result of her relationship with the Apostle through the use of voodoo or a medical condition, Halima is in a terrible state and sources close to her claim she is dying.